Um, hello. Uh, today I'm playing Don't Starve Again, but this time I'm playing it together with a friend from America, so I'm speaking English because he doesn't speak Esperanto, unfortunately. <laughs> but, um, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, at least you're, you know, at least we can communicate in English, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, maybe you want to introduce yourself quickly? Uh, well, uh, you covered most of it. I'm, I'm Jeff. I'm American. I don't speak Esperanto. <laughs> uh, it, it, it might be amusing for anybody who's listening if you spent the rest of the this session speaking Esperanto <laughs> <laughs> and and me trying my best to uh, you know to follow along and respond. But anyway, yeah, well, maybe the... we, we can try that another time. <laughs> once we're more, okay. once we're more yeah. comfortable with it. Or we could have an episode where I'm only allowed to speak Esperanto, but that might actually be offensive to all of you viewers. <laughs> <laughs> maybe so. Uh, yeah, but anyway, so my, my idea for this channel was never to only use Esperanto anyway, so I just wanted to cool. pra basically practice my languages, and at the moment that's mostly Esperanto since that, well, that's what I'm working on. But English is still fine too. Well, that's, that's very inclusive of you. I appreciate you, uh, you know, leaving that door open for me to jump in. <laughs> right. Um, so in order to play multiplayer, we are doing Don't Starve Together, which is just the same game, but the multiplayer version basically. And in this version, we get to. Ah, I see her in now. Good. Uh, in this version, we get to select whichever character we want, so we don't have to unlock them ahead of time. Um, and we've already played a couple times, so I've tried a bunch of them. And I think my favorite so far is Wes, the the silent. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna be him again. <laughs> a bit ironic for a linguist. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I'm an, an ex-linguist technically, but I guess even so. Wait, an ex-linguist? Hmm? How are you an ex-linguist? Well, I mean, I guess so. I, I I was only a linguist insofar as I was studying it, and I didn't even finish the program. So. Oh, I don't know. I think being a linguist is a lifelong commitment. <laughs> Maybe so. All right. I'm going to be a soulless automaton again, I think. Okay. Yeah, that sounds like a good com combination. <laughs> I thought you were going to say, that sounds like you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so let's get into the game then, I guess. Oh, right, I can put, I can put on some stuff that I've unlocked previously. I'm just going to put on everything randomly. <clears throat> so, here we are in our world. Me running around in my metal suit and you running around in a skirt. <laughs> All is right in the world. Same old. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Reminds me of that time we were in Brussels. No. Um, oh gosh. <laughs> yeah. No. I'm... Um, yeah. So we've already played this uh, beginning part a bunch of times, I guess. Just have to survive, uh, get some food and stuff. I'm um, picking grass at the moment because it's one of the few things in this world that doesn't try to kill me. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of. Oh, true. there's a really fertile field of rabbits here, though. Okay. Oh boy. Wow. Yeah. Oh yeah. You're right. Here. As here as well. I also found some of those clockwork knights that we were talking about earlier. Alright, so we need Off some camera. twigs also. Make right. some traps, catch some rabbits. Yeah, some rabbitses. This is a pretty good place to start. You can just, if we if they build like 10 traps and put them all over the place, well, mm -hmm. I think we'll have food all over the, all the time basically. Right. Farming, farming rabbits. Uh, <laughs> well, that makes me feel guilty for some reason, but I guess yeah. it's about surviving. I guess so. All right, so let me build this trap. Ooh, flint. Yay. Do you remember um, in the controls, um, like if I have a stack of flint or something like that, and I want to give you one of them, how, oh, how that works? I think it was like maybe, sh no, it wasn't shift. Oh, it was control. I it was think. something like that, but I just can't remember. Oh, yeah, control. And then. When you hold it and put it back there, you, you pick up half if you hold control and pick up the stack. Yeah. And then if you, oh dear, that's another clockwork guy. Uh, and then if you want to place it down again, you can hold control still to place down one at a time. So you can either pick up everything at once and then just hold control to put one down. Or you can pick up half by holding control when you pick it up. <clears throat> <laughs> the natural world is overrated. Yeah, I saw you say that. Makes sense for a robot. <clears throat> um, 
So, oh right, it's already evening. That's why I don't see any rabbits anymore. Yeah, that's okay. We can um, get some traps set up for tomorrow. We should still be in plenty good shape. Yeah. Well, I just remembered also that my character, um, as the game says, it has trouble staying alive, and I think that meant. Yeah. <laughs> remember? Yeah. And I think. Ooh, yeah. I found gears, by the way. I'm gonna try to steal them from these monsters for you later on. Oh, thank you. That's very kind. Uh, because your character, we haven't we said that what we weren't recording, so I'll just repeat it. Your character eats gears to regain sanity. Yes, uh, and as we've learned, I lose sanity rather easily. Yeah, I mean, I, I, we don't remember why you you lost it, but I'm sure. Oh, I, I figured that was my fault somehow. You know. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I don't know. Um, but yeah, so what that means that I have trouble staying alive. Basically, I think that means that I'm losing hunger quick, quicker. Because I'm already at 72. I don't know what, what your hunger level is. Uh, I'll look in a minute. I'm busy chopping things down, but uh, be mindful of the time already. It's like... Oh, yeah. That's pretty fast. Yeah. I don't know. Did you set it on, like, super speedy mode or something? <laughs> no, no. I didn't change okay. anything. Um, where are we going to camp? Uh, I don't know. Just basically a little... Maybe... Near, near where we started, there's kind of a, a little north of where we started, there's kind of a river that crosses through an area that's slightly less woody, so we don't we won't set anything on fire. Although actually, I'm already in a pretty open place here. I don't know where, yeah, where, I don't know where you are. Uh, I guess I could look at the, the map. Yeah, Let's I see. don't see you on the map. I don't see you. Oh dear. I went a bit north. Okay, I'll try not to panic. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, I'm gonna quickly craft a torch. Yeah, I'm gonna do the same. Can I see? Yeah, I found you. Hi. Hi. Let's. Uh, maybe we should just camp here. <laughs> <laughs> sounds, sounds good to me. <laughs> okay. Uh, um, I'll build some. a campfire. Right. Uh, I wanted to compare how how hungry we were, but I already ate something, so I guess that won't work. You've ruined the whole thing. Not really. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So. Oops. I keep eating. How does wait? Pebbles. How does it work to put more stuff on the? No, that's how. I'm gonna feed you a berry. There you go. It's <laughs> a bit personal. <laughs> All right. Um, let's see. Do you need anything, or are you okay? Uh. Wait. Can I not eat birch nuts? I thought that was. I don't know. Do I have some weird food restriction that I don't remember? I don't remember either. I would check, but I I would have to alt tab out of the game, and I don't know how that works. Yeah, that, well, yeah that's fine. Ooh, we're really close. Our camp is really close to those. Uh, Clockwork nights. <laughs> well, I mean, we can just let the fire pit go out. I can always make another. Yeah, sure. Uh, okay. Ooh, what is that? Oh, okay. I can eat beech nuts. I just have to cook them first. Ah, I, I think that's generally the, the case. Uh, okay. I'll give you the gears just in case you need them in the future. Aw, thanks. Try not to eat them yet. That's before you the eat. nicest thing anybody's done for me today. Um, <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of sad. Oh, I guess it's early for you. It's only been one day. So. Um, okay, well, I guess um, I'm going to continue on in that same direction and gather up some more supplies. Okay, I'll explore. S supplies! This time. Uh, anyway. Um, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> that was like dad humor right there. That's, that's okay. Dad humor is fun. With the right, you know, perspective. <laughs> okay, I'm setting up some traps. So have you learned how to tell jokes in Esperanto yet? Oh, I don't know if I've learned how to tell jokes in any language. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that was kind of one in English just then. That was. Oh, you're so witty. Uh, I don't know about that. But yeah, I don't, I don't know of any okay. off the top of my head. You're, you're accidentally funny. <laughs> Possibly the best way to be. <clears throat> so, have you reached the um, the three subscriber mark on YouTube yet? Oh yeah, I have. I have. I don't remember the exact number, but I have more than three. <laughs> really? That's cool. <laughs> Maybe someday I'll make a YouTube channel. Oh yeah. You you were talking about the the making stuff channel, right? Uh yeah, 
I, I'm still interested in doing that, but I, I wouldn't do that for subscribers. I mean, it's I mean, not for the purpose of getting subscribers. There's so many people doing that sort of thing on YouTube. Like, I would right. be doing it for other reasons. Well, I mean, there's a lot of people <coughs> doing Let's Plays as well, but I guess not so many doing them in Esperanto. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so you were originally going to do that when you had more free time, right? Might be less true now? Yes, um, which, you know, should be the case soon. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, for you to have free time, time you mean? Or? Uh, yeah. But um, I, uh, okay, but I mean, you, you're not going to be fully free as, mu as much as you had feared, right? Uh, feared. <laughs> <laughs> it's all under my control. Well, all right, so for the, so for the people listening along who have no idea what the heck we're talking about, <laughs> um, I, uh, so I, I work in sort of the information technology field and I'm sort of in the process of quitting my job <laughs> at the moment. <laughs> um, or I guess maybe a better way to put it is sort of taking a break um, and uh, taking some time to s pursue some personal projects and work on other stuff like maybe making some video content or maybe volunteering for some nonprofit organizations and that sort of thing. Um, and uh, so yes, I mean, the like in a few weeks I'll be done kind of with my previous job. Um, and actually, for the rest of the summer, so like July and August, I should be pretty, pretty free. Ah, okay. So, you, um, although, so the original plan was that in case you hadn't found anything, you would do that, that YouTube thing. But I um, guess you can still kind of do it for a bit, even though you did find stuff. Yeah, um, and I mean, I, I always sort of thought of doing it in combination with various other things. So, like, you know, the only work that I have lined up, you know, for the future at this point is teaching part time in the fall, which is, you know, which is great. Um, but, um, you know, like working on video content and, and that sort of stuff is, um, uh, you know, it's, it's the sort of thing I would do for fun. It's not, it wouldn't be work. It would just be. Right. And also, you know. it also wouldn't take all your time. So you can probably do it even if you have a part-time other thing. Um, yes, although from what I hear, <laughs> producing producing videos of you know working on projects like doing stuff in workshops and building stuff and all that is actually can actually be quite time consuming. Mm, but um, yeah, makes sense. But anyway, I'll sort that out at the time. I mean, it you know it, it's it's one of those things where if it's fun, I'll probably want to do it a lot, and if it's not fun, then I won't. So yeah, it'll be sort of a self solving problem, I think. Yeah, you can at least give it a try. Yeah. All right, so it's getting darkish again. Yeah. Uh, like we should find each other and then continue our exploration together. I'm kind of close. I'm kind of slightly northeast of the where we started. Okay. And that track caught something. Um, were you the one that have, that picked berries from all of these bushes by any chance? Uh, probably. Okay, that's good. Um, I don't mind that I don't have them. I just didn't want them to be in some turkey's belly. <laughs> right. I mean, not that I begrudge the turkey, but. Um, you know, we need food, so. That we do. Uh, all right, I'm standing next to the balloon you made me. <laughs> oh, I think that was, <coughs> where was that? That's where we camped yesterday. Oh, that was slightly to the right of that thing, okay. I'm on my way. Yeah. <laughs> the balloon I made you. Yeah, that was, I mean, that was kind of for both of us, but you can have it. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> didn't mean to assume. <laughs> Uh, you're, I'm sorry. You're really cute. I mean, your your little avatar there, <laughs> with, the, with the awkward makeup and the skirt. That's just that's super. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's so. Funny. Uh, all right. Yeah, anyway, this character is great. <laughs> yep. Okay. Um, well, I'm gonna make a campfire again and roast these birch nuts. I think. Okay. Is that all right with you? Yep. I already ate some carrots. So I'm only half dead from hunger. Only half dead. Well, that's good. Uh, yes, I, I, do, I really do get hungry quickly. Oops. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's because... <laughs> Why is this not working? It's because I'm clicking the wrong button. Yeah, that'll... that'll I know, I'm it. so awkward. All right, anyway. My, for a, oh, I guess I can push this thing along. For a more permanent location, uh, we should probably find a place further from the... The, the, the creepy horses. Yeah, well, I mean, <clears throat> have you looked much to the west? I mean, like, this is a good location from the perspective of 
having a ready supply of rabbits. But right. I mean, aside from that, like if, if we, if you know, if there's much better options elsewhere, I don't mind moving. Hmm. Right. Um, I haven't been very far west yet, mostly north and south. How about you? Where have you gone? Um, I've only really gone east, and that's mostly to gather um, wood and, and beech nuts, which so far have been the you know the majority of my food source. Right. So. The the birch nuts that I, I guess that. Uh, yeah, meant. whatever I said. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, whatever I meant. <laughs> right. Uh, for the for anybody who might be listening along, I apologize for my chewing noises and eating at the same time. It's an important part of this gaming experience, you know. I'm I'm uh, live action role playing. <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> wouldn't do for you to starve in real life while we're trying not to starve in the game. Yeah. Uh, quite quite so. Okay, so yeah, I guess we can just keep exploring a bit until we find a perfect place. Uh, this would be pretty good, but for these creepy guys. Uh, maybe if we get, get sufficiently far from them, we can still kind of stay in this general area. Like, there's a bit of an open place, open space here that we could use. Yep. I mean, they don't seem to venture out. I mean, and right. this area with the rabbits seems pretty yeah. vast. I already set up so. some traps around here, so I guess I, we could take them again, but, you know, might as well leave them. Yeah. All right. Well, I guess I'm going to walk west because, you know, sure. I haven't done that yet. I'll, I'll do kind of the same, but more southern. Southern. I guess we're here. I guess would be more. Yeah, more uh, metal guys. Are there more gears as well? No, not that I can tell. Man, there's a lot of rabbits. Yeah, there really are. It's pretty good. Um, there's also some petrified trees for stone, which is good. Uh, although I don't think they they offer much other than stone, so not. Maybe nitro, but not like ore, uh, gold ore or something like that. So let's see, what is our first goal? I guess a science machine is always good to begin with, right? Um, I think that's pretty reasonable. Um, although, you know, honestly, I seem to get by just fine running around trying to find enough stuff to eat on a given day. <laughs> like, sure. that doesn't really make me the planner, I guess. <laughs> but, <laughs> well, it, um, it gives me the, the, the liberty to do some planning, I guess. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, it's, it's fun to try to improve our quality of life over time, though. It's so much work. I guess there's also a flint in there. What is, what is work? Trying to improve our quality of life over time. Oh, right. Um. <clears throat> Ooh. So, oh, it looks like you've been Berries. Here. Yay, berries. So maybe maybe setting up a more permanent camp just to the west of the big wide open place full of rabbits would be good because so in this forested area there aren't there aren't uh, beech trees which you know are sort of my preferred you know food source but um, there's like this little grove surrounded by berry bushes and there's some carrots and there seems to be a good supply of flint. Yeah, I'm finding um, a bunch of flint as well. Yeah, so I mean, like we could uh, like the. You know, the general area, I mean, it, it doesn't take that long to traverse it, so, um, you know, we've sort of got uh, a coming together of, you know, different, I don't know if they're really biomes, but like, you know, the sort of yeah, Small supply food. areas or something. Right. Little biomes, I'm guessing. They are. <laughs> That's easier to say in Esperanto. <laughs> or Dutch, probably. Yeah, yeah, true. You people in your diminutives. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's very, yeah. nice. very nicely phrased. Thank you. Oh, I love lumping large groups of people together in one, you know, yeah. category. No, you do. Yeah, I do that so much. I I'm coming to you. <clears throat> I want to give you ah, get away! <laughs> oh, sorry, you scared me. I know. I look pretty, pretty scary. I don't think so. I think you look really cute. <laughs> uh, I, I'm, I'm highly amused by your character. Yeah, got you something. Oh, I hear yeah, bees. Yeah, there's beers, bees around here. There's beers? <laughs> <laughs> not, not so much the beers, I think. Uh, okay. Oh, but oh, these are uh, beech trees, though. This is good. Oh yeah. Do they, give, do they give something different from? Uh, I guess they give are the proper palms that they give palm leaves. 
Uh, wait, what are you? Where, where are you looking at? I was looking at these these beech trees here. Oh, beech, right? Beech. Not yeah, not. I I don't mean like <laughs> trees that are on a beach. I mean like. I was like, wow, that's different. Beach. That's a very different yeah. biome. <laughs> yeah, right. Um. But no, if you pick the mature ones, uh, you get the um. You know the the nuts and. Uh, oh, yeah, gotta have those nuts. <laughs> did, yeah. Did you see what yeah. I got, got you by the way? Uh, oh, you. Uh, sorry. Uh, hold on. There we go. Um, now, what did you get me? It's, it should be in your inventory. Oh. <laughs> thank you. You're welcome. You made me pretty. Yeah. <laughs> for for some of my business. Ah. <laughs> uh. Anybody listening thinks we're absolutely ridiculous by this point. <laughs> I think that's that's that boat is long since sailed. What's the word? What's the expression? Yeah, yeah, you, you got it right. 